footage from this past Monday. Monday, yep. The third, I think. What's up, Nate? Welcome back, bud. What's up, man? Uh, how does how does all the how do all the levels sound to you guys? Music and can you hear Mike okay? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, am I too loud? We were having that issue earlier. Test, 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 test. I think I think everything's fine. Um, Jordan starting it out with Mitch. Lovely, thank you guys. Thank you. What's up, Jordan? What's up, Coop? So yeah, Mitch over there, Jordan, uh, Mitchell with other Jordan. I'm gonna need you guys to pick new partners when everybody yeah. shares the same name. Yeah. It's making this too difficult. Ben and Andre. Andre had a oh, yeah. pretty killer night that night, as I recall. Yeah, he did. And then Tommy, ready to murder people. My, my initial moments with Tommy were uh, very uncomfortable. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Jamaican beef Patricks. I don't know what to make of that, but I hope you enjoy them. Yeah, no idea what that means. Lila Vega, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, wait, there. Tommy immediately takes me down. So, so we dap up, and like, he comes in quick, and this cross face... Oh, yeah. Went right across my nose, and like, I'm so upright here, because I just wasn't wasn't even expecting this. I'm so upright. What's up, James? That it like, cranked my neck back a little bit, and I'm like, mm -hmm. just fall to the ground. Like, just get <laughs> down, just get down. It was so uncomfortable, and then he <laughs> just goes on a rampage, runs around me, and starts putting the pressure on. I'm like, okay, time to wake up. I'm, I'm here, I'm in it. Sonny and Luke. And Ben is uh, has done a good job so far of at least retaining his guard. You can see that Andre's putting on some heavy cross cross face pressure right about here. Ben's able to get his legs in and hold on to a half guard. He's got a low knee shield right now. He's probably going to look for uh, either some sort of underhook. Be interested to see what he tries to do from there. Uh, I want to point out, super proud of Mitchell here. So, standing guard break. Jordan hits him with the the uh, dummy sweep. Mitchell reaps over with that leg. We are in leg lock week. And one thing you know we saw Mitchell doing a lot of over the last few months. He he had an interest in these leg attacks, but he would often end up without one leg isolated so now he's got that reaping leg over and watch watch where he ends up it's into a nice irimi ashi oh, yeah. standard ashi going on the attack on jordan's ankle and jordan doing doing a good thing he's using his cross side arm which there we go now he's using his his right yep yeah the or the straight arm um straight side arm or same side arm jesus what's up cole yo Tommy's still taking it to me with a lot of forward pressure here. Um, he did this a few times, though. Tom, I don't know if you're watching right now, but watch him kind of pick me up and, s like, slam, for lack of a better word, like, right here. Like, he kind of extends, picks me up, puts me back down. Uh, there's no real reason I can think of to do that. Um, it's just kind of like... Like it's gonna, it's gonna take energy from you, right? You're using your lower back. Uh, you know that could tire you out. That's core strength you're using. Um, you might get called from that by a ref, Tommy. So keep that in mind. I don't want to see you doing that in competition, just to remove any, uh, you know, uh, slam accusation or anything like that. You don't want to, you don't want to give him something easy to DQ you for. Um, but yeah, think more about just forward pressure, shoulder pressure into my jaw, not. 
not picking me up and putting me back down. That, that doesn't accomplish much, and all, you're, all it really does, in fact, is create some space momentarily that I think I later end up using to sh uh, shift my hips out and get my knee in. Um, so you're not really doing yourself any favors, and, and if timed well, you're going to give your opponent an easy escape. Let's go on with Sonny and Luke over here. Uh, quick go behind from Sonny. Yeah, how do you Kinda set that throw up? By. It was uh, off of a throw by. Right here, off his left side. Nice. Yep. Chases it down. Very nice. Doing good at following him here. Luke Luke just, yeah, Luke gets a turn on him. Can now start to square back up yep. and take him over. That was good. That looked really, really good. I really like what Luke did there too. He grabbed the outside leg. So notice, um, it's hard to see, but when Luke comes through to step, notice that he doesn't, um, so he's he's going here, he's thinking about uh, pulling back into a guard and maybe going into a sweeping position. Uh, but he rethinks it and he uses his right hand to go on the outside of Sonny's right leg and scoop. And then from there, extending that right leg out, he can just take him down to his back. Um, this is not, he's not reaching in between the legs and trying to um, catch, you know, a leg, uh, like splitting it up through the middle. Uh, he's going on the outside. Um, so just something important to note, because I think on the last stream we had talked about uh, people just kind of reaching through and trying to grab an ankle or trying to hit like a single leg up the middle. Um, and that's definitely not a good idea. But what Luke just did is completely safe and it's very effective from that, um, that breakdown. Yeah. What's up, Andre? What's up, man? We were just talking about you. Yeah. You decided to be a little serial Oops. killer this night. It's going around to take Ben's back right now. Yeah. From that half guard, he had, had that one hook in, and he was able to cut the angle just enough to hit that chair sit back take. There it is. A really good readjustment there, um, very subtle, uh, but didn't quite have the chair sit back take when he first went down. Uh, ben was doing a good job of uh, of creating some some angle between uh, between the two of them, making it difficult. And watch what Andre does with his right foot as he falls. He takes a pit stop. back he takes a little pit stop right here and then he's gonna plant his right foot down on the mat and he's gonna give a little bit of a shrimp out to the to our side and that was just enough in order to square back up with Ben and get to the back I am curious if like normally when you do a chair sit you have this knee on the ground not your foot on the ground like the knee is up mm -hmm. by the shoulder line but you also typically in that case don't have a leg trapped as a hook right so i'm i'm curious if you do have this trapped as a hook if this actually is if this becomes a, a better idea or a more viable option i i lean towards no just because i am a creature of habit and i might have to try it myself um for now i'm going to say whatever fine it works but it might it might still be better to have this knee down behind the shoulder line but i mean you get there either way that's that's what matters and yeah. taking bins back is not an easy feat and yes no. that's right andre you got to be a killer he sank in the smoothest uh rear naked choke on me this uh on this oh, yeah yeah Tommy hit a, uh, a nice entry into the legs there to sweep. Um, I hadn't seen that from him before. Yeah. So that was really good. So he dives straight in, gets to your right leg, gets his knee up the middle, a little slow on the left knee, like going up the middle. Um, I would prioritize the middle knee over the outside leg, um, but all around uh, way to see it and, and way to way to go in on that and to recognize that you can sweep from that leg attack position yeah and for for a, a newbie hitting that that standard ashi sweep yeah it's awesome man uh jordan also with a knee bar on mitchell from cross ashi so uh back, back, uh back step here 
uh, stuff oh, no, around. Yeah. Goes through. Yeah, yeah. I okay. think he and I talked about that like maybe a week or two ago. Cause like getting, he was. I think he said he was getting caught in like half guard and trying to work passes from there. I was like, you could do this and yeah. either pass or, or spin around to the leg. So it's good to see him putting that into practice now. So he's digging on the legs here. Got to get uh, Mitchell's ankles uncrossed. Looks like he does it there. Switches to the lat knee bar. Painful. Mm. Very nice. What about other Jordan and Mitch? What happened here? This it looks like they stand up here. Maybe they're getting too close. Yeah. Trying to get away. It's a good nickname. I think that works for him. Tommy Bahami. <laughs> I heard I heard you had a little bit of a bo issue, Cole. Yeah, Andre called him out like what Saturday? Yeah, Thursday. Uh, it's embarrassing. It's probably all that pizza coming out of your pores. <laughs> no, never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> So I finally get Tommy off of me. I'm like, all right, now I, now I have to Stand back up. not let him jam his shoulder into my face again. What were you, what were you gonna say? Oh, nice. Oh, well, um, yeah. <laughs> so I just, I, I, oh, just a simple little trip. Uh, over under grip, sit, block his leg. That's all. Yeah, uh, Luke had a basically like a deep under hook. He kind of just barreled over Sonny. Um, Kind of the the power of the ship's wheel here there and then it's just able to it's kind of like a shoulder crunch yeah it was just able to crunch him down from the top there jordan with a mount jordan jordan gets himself a katatame yeah and ben escaped the back i i take it he did Turns in, ends up in mount. Good retention from Andre to not give up a dominant, dominant position. See you working on it, Jordan. I really like how Andre's knees are off the mat when he has the those grapevines in. Um, that's very tough to shake. Oh, like getting the full, yeah, getting the full yeah. extension. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the reason the reason you would do that is to prevent a bridge, right? If you can mm -hmm. if you can break your opponent's connection with the ground here, he can't bridge his hips up and get you off balance. But it does limit your mobility uh, in a way. Like you're tying your legs to his, your hips to his. So like, you know, you're obviously not going to go to chair sits and, and things like that. Um, but it can be it can be good to like calm down a really explosive opponent. Wow, what a uh, what transitions are going yeah. on there? That was a uh, that was really nice. You're staying on him the whole time. You transitioning anything from you know dismounting nicely into a side control, going into another back take, going back into a mount, and then now threatening another back take. I know, right? It 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 looked uh it looked that way. Which Andre just the whole the whole sequence it was just kind of like going back and forth. These two? Yes, yeah. And then he is finding himself back in that gift wrap position. Going for the chair sit back take. Yeah, same same thing, Andre. I want to see you start putting that knee down for the chair sit. The one that's on the back. I want the knee on the ground and tucked in underneath him. It, it, it makes it surprisingly easy. Yeah, that was a solid round. Did Nate roll before or was he chilling on the side? Mm, I don't know. Oh, he's with... Uh... Oh, yeah, at the very top. Is he, who is that, James? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's with James. James. That's right. Yep. 
this with you. Pat and Sonny over there. Andre and Caleb. Andrew and Austin on the right. Cole and Mitch. Did you say Pat and Sonny? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Pat just about had a sweep on him. Yeah. Caleb just, uh, what did Caleb do? Was that a trip on Andre? Yeah. Beautiful, really nice outside trip. Kind of like a Dayashi. Yeah, gets the head outside of the hips and the base. Continues it over. Sweeps that leg in. It's going to be really hard to recover from that. Yeah. And Andre goes down. Down goes Andre. <laughs> James playing Luke's game. Looking for that underhook from half mm -hmm. guard. Now to a butterfly half. Pulling back in, yeah. As it's always, guys. Butterfly. Sorry. As always, guys, point stuff out if we miss it. Um, especially in these early rounds when everybody's training. Oh, look at, look at James. Got a little reverse TP choke here. Yeah. Making his well, way to a reverse. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess more it was closer more to a side triangle, but yeah. And then almost makes his way to a reverse close guard, but Luke not wanting to play that game. Dagestani Dars on Tommy, followed by a guard past Nubar. Oh, sweet. Where are you guys? Uh, they're up in the corner. Top right. Yeah. Okay. What makes this a Dagestani Dars? Is it just the fact that you look Dagestani without the beard, or. That is a very nice Dars. How far back? Okay, so you get a. Tommy kind of pulls. You go wizard here. We're looking right here. Got he's got your leg. I see you try to shove the hand through. There it is. So as you twist your hips, nice. Ah, okay. Learned it from Islam. Followed by a guard pass knee bar. James looking for the sh uh, double underhooks, actually. Nice, nice. Oh, the hip switch. James, that was close, man. Um, I don't even want to... I can't even really give you pointers because you start to work it. Luke was able to just hip switch out. But, like, shifting his hips back like you do right there, kind of essential. Um the the only other thing i think that would make this a little bit more effective is having your underhooks a little bit higher in his armpit so that like he can't base out the way he's doing right now but even then it, it, they look pretty damn high it looks like he just kind of was able to shut this down he gets a base and, and right there can hip switch i think his head is low um so th this is something that I, I i point out a lot in the um when attacking the shoulder crunch is you can see how much head height Luke has on James here. Yeah. And for if you're if you're trying to sweep somebody left or right, normally having their head over yours is okay because that means that you can get under them better. Um, but in the case of when you're trying to control their upper body, you have to build up head height on them. And um, so I think that may have been kind of the 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 lack of control I think that you have here and the ability for Luke to kind of 
post number one on the mat and and find that balance in order to switch his hips back and forth yeah and, and looking at it from this view i think to to add on to your point if your head's up higher like more uh in line with his head your arms are going to be up higher into the armpits like i was just saying like it, you're just vertically too low down the body mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. next time you may be able to switch your grips to kind of hook the hook the traps or the shoulders and pull him down your body and then relock it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Dar's attempt from Luke. James saw it. I hate when Luke passes like this on me. <laughs> melting through he's not really playing into that uh okay he wasn't playing into the notice what luke did here on the um uh the lockdown he didn't play into it very very much right he didn't resist it he kind of just let his leg flop around a little bit here to see what james was going to do with it and then when he felt like james wasn't really going to be using it he flattens and turns his knee upward and points his knee kind of up a little bit more and then he extends his leg away and slips that bottom hook. There's the pull the heel to the butt and then yep. step around it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I'm with, I got Nate in a bad spot here. So Nate general, let's look at some general rules here. Um, here, just kind of a get you a little, it gets you off balance enough to uh, get the sweep. And then now, just notice you'll hear us saying it a lot, pointing it out plenty. Elbows over top of your shoulder line is super vulnerable. So it's great for the guy in mount. I'm always going to be looking for that. One is awesome, two is even better, which is what I end up getting with getting you with here. And then just slide up the body. Here I opt to go to like an S mount. And then from there, S mount's really awesome. If you could tighten it up, you have you have uh, really solid, dangerous arm bars. Um, I'm not gonna arm bar you, so I let you roll out of it and then get to work from close guard. Caleb with a nice rustle up there <laughs> on Andre. You'll you'll learn to to resist that and keep your your elbows in in safer positions. Um, later on here, Cole and I have a round. Um, Cole is, is, you know, very, very well versed at attacking arms from mounts and getting them isolated and making your life miserable. And you'll see he gets mine, mine extended a few times, but I prioritize my elbow position. Um, I never get out of the mount once he gets it, but I know how to keep myself safe there, uh, with, with good arm position. Luke looking for the Kimura trap, but James slips the elbow. Really good example, yeah. slipping the elbow. He's very difficult to get into that Kimura trap lately. Good awesome. No, Luke get something there. Andrew's not playing it. Luke yes. opts to go into deep path. Guard. Yes, I love this. Yes. <laughs> Make him suffer, James. Point out, I taught him this. He said, you want to see something cool? What are we doing? What are we doing? Did did we pass it, Jordan? Or is it coming up? Oh, there it is. Okay, I see. So, looking oh, right here. Yeah. Around knee bar. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty chill. That was the the most relaxed spin around knee bar. <laughs> I think I've ever seen. Good stuff. Man, you got you're adding leg locks into your repertoire now. Even on white belts, man. That's what you gotta do. I think I, I think there was even stuff with Nate, like um Mike, after you and I talked about like the from from seated guard. 
you know, work mm -hmm. the near side arm uh, arm drag and then switch to the far side arm drag, scoot back to, mm -hmm. to get the back exposure. I worked that right here with Nate, I'm pretty sure. So there's, there's, oh no, okay, never mind. Um, it's either with him or, or maybe one of the other white belts, but I'm like, all right, this is, these are the opponents to practice new stuff on, sharpen it up, yeah, work up the chain. That's, that's kind of how it goes. Andre got to the back. Of course he did. Looks like he's threatening a little uh, guillotine action here. Or even yep. Dars. Yeah. But he's not throwing that shoulder all the way through. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So, Caleb goes up to wrestle up again. Andre shuts it down. Hits a quick go behind. Floating on top of the hips. But now he goes to break it down. Gets one hook in. Doesn't secure the back. But then heists up, I think, into a mount here. Nope. Yeah, and Andre, from from this position, um, you can work. You can still get to the back. I what I love to do here, rely on your top leg, right? You can leave it in as a, a hook on this leg, or a short hook, or a long hook, like you're doing right now. Ties your ties yourself to your opponent, you know, down at the hips. But this arm, your top arm, I like to reach with or without his arm in here. I reach all the way around the neck, as deep around his neck as I can, get like a false grip, and I rip his head across my body. So we, we pull him in this direction, and as we pull, our leg will help pull us, pull him over and us underneath and out the other side to like get the alignment you want. So if you really want to get the back, it might be hard with Caleb being bigger than you, but like with a lot of opponents, I, yeah, I'll, I'll have... I won't be there, Mike. If you're there tomorrow, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like the yep. pulling the back in from that claw grip. Um, but if you really want the back, you can still get it. Um, not saying mount is a bad idea. I think mount works really well for you. Um, but shit, so does the back. So may as well try it if you're right there. Oh, Luke tries for the big sit out. James seems pretty ready for it. And Luke scrambling to a deep half guard. Oh yeah, there. Is, so here it is with Nate, uh, the arm drag. So typically, you're gonna see people drag this arm, but there's that scoot by. I kind of give him space to move, like you were talking about, mm -hmm. get the back exposure, and then pull it in. I was like, huh, yeah, I guess it does work. Yeah, that happens. Just <laughs> training more, cardio comes, just with time. Yeah, yeah this just keeps showing up. That's that's yep. the only answer. That's normally the yep. only answer. Yeah, Pat, you should definitely work that. Yeah. I think since since you said you're getting away from like some of the bottom half guard stuff you were doing for a while. You know, sitting up to guard, playing a CD guard game, developing that I think would be really good. Oh, this is me, me and Cole. Death core was cracking. So am I, Jordan. So am I. Wish I could tell you. What's up, Death Core? Yeah, your cardio, you get your cardio well into your black belt. Very deep into your black belt. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and I still aren't there. <laughs> Cole trying to axe kick me in the head. Oh, dude, Cole, I, I meant to tell you, but this about broke my back, and uh, I'm still hurting from this. Well, look at this grip that he gets here, and then look at my extension. Like, he's yeah. pulling my stomach in like <laughs> I want <laughs> I wanted the I wanted to roll here I was like just get the sweep man <laughs> my, my right floating rib like still hurts from that <laughs> and then he threatens to punch me in the face <laughs> I, was, I forgot what I was saying but I was talking a lot of smack to him and then I slap him in the face it was a nice uh, ankle pick from Andre on Jordan and just under the uh, the screen there 
Coop, no one's no one's getting on treadmill. Get out of here. Nah. Little foot sweep attempt. Dragging down. Hitting the All ankle right. pick. Nice. I, I, Andre, I think that that ankle pick will work very well for you. Just you got long yeah. arms, you're strong, you can pull that head down, get the reach, rip the leg. Everything you need is right there. Like that's that's a bread and butter takedown for you, man. Yeah, it happened happened to me too. Just about, we'll say just about six minutes. Caleb on the Kimura. Oh, yeah. There we go. Jordan's giving him some pressure, though. So you see he, he gave up the grip to put Jordan flat to his back, and then he can uh, initiate the attack again. I thought for sure Cole was looking for straight arms here because I, I know he's been... I mean, they're... They're, you know, probably one of his highest percentage submissions. So, Nate, to the, our earlier comments, um, you know, elbow position and keeping it safe and everything. Cole, you're going to see Cole doing a lot to isolate my arms here. But notice what I'm doing. I'm trying to take my body to my elbow to keep it safe. I'm not, I'm not laying flat on my back to let my arm just kind of hang out out there uh, isolated. It's not easy because I also don't want my other arm to go across Cole's center line because then he could take my back. I don't want Cole on my back. So it's a, you're going to see me working a lot of off balancing. I'm trying to like open up that leg to, to try to work a, a knee escape or knee elbow escape. A um, lot, of, lot of little things going on here to try to throw Cole off. Really like to try to get that knee inside his knee now that he's in this like modified mount position. Um, which he also knows, but I get him off balance. He has to let go of my arm. Now I get my leg inside. We've got Andrew and a nasty Kimura. Let's look at that. Yeah, I set that up um, kind of in, in a really interesting way because I was gonna go through and start my my um, my passing sequences like I normally do, um, but I went down chest to chest instead because I wasn't feeling uh, very stable um, and so I came around the the top to isolate the far arm and I was like I think I can get a straight arm from here so I kept using um, the threat of like going and scooping getting a scoop grip on his left leg in order to kind of keep him busy and then when I got him distracted enough I just slipped the, the hand off of my shoulder there and then once I got his hand off my shoulder, I was able to get my thumb in, catch his wrist. And then from here, instead of trying to extract my leg, I just opted to roll through. Because, and I kept his, his uh, leg trapped. So that way he couldn't roll out of it. I felt like I had a deep enough bite on the arm to where I could get the finish. I was kind of surprised it worked. And then... I don't know. The more that I, the more that I did it, the more I was trusting it. Yeah, that's that's interesting because normally I'm a, I advocate for getting that leg free for the finish. But mm -hmm. yeah, if you if you roll and are tied up enough, I guess there's really no need to. Uh, Coop, you know that if if you and I were seen out in public, um, people would think I was your older brother. You could call me old all you want, but. Uh, pretty young looking the youngest man alive so hasn't aged today that's right since i met him i look half my age dude cole is putting a ton of pressure yeah i was pretty pissed when luke started coaching him <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like where is my coaching man <laughs> this is bullshit Cole has like 60 pounds on me. No, probably like 80 pounds on me. Cole, what are you weighing now? Like 230? Yes, I'm short, but uh, there's a lot more looking as young as me than my height, Cooper. You're tall. It doesn't mean you look old. 
Dummy. Good argument. What's up, James? At least Lurking he's in, in the chat. He said what's up earlier. Oh, did he? Oh, I missed it. What's up, Ben? Ben. What's cracking? Um, sorry, yeah. So so Cole's, I mean, with, with uh, Luke holding the, the controller here and commanding Cole, this role gets a lot more miserable. Where is the music? This is stupid. Uh, so yeah, now you see him again looking for these arm isolations. I can finally get him off balance enough to where I can turtle up. He goes for a quick go behind, which was good. I, there was no way I was shutting that down. Um, and now it was just, I knew where the time was, so it was just talk shit until the uh, bell rang. <laughs> and this was a good round. Cole and Luke. Me and Ben. You and Andrew? Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell Andrew, but he shoulder checks me in the nose here and like bloodied both sides of my nose. Oh, really? <laughs> I was just getting beat up. I got hit in the face so much. Cole, uh, when he took my back earlier, he punched me in the lip by accident. So I had like a bloody lip, a bloody nose from Andrew. Just everybody beating my ass. Let's see how Andre and Austin goes. What's up, Brandon? And Cole's 2.30 after pizza. <laughs> a pizza. Yeah. Yeah, a whole pizza, because he's not going to eat just, just some. What's up, Brandon? How you doing, buddy? How's your leg feeling? Like all of your joints on it are braced up now. Nice job from Austin sitting down Andre here. Austin's guard has been uh, really, really taking a step up lately. Like he, he has a guard style very similar to like, um, is that guy, uh, Levi? One of the one of the pros. He he's like oh a, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I do, I do. Uh, he always has like uh, different like color hair, purple hair and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. His his guard styles, I would say, very similar to that. Like he doesn't mind having his knees like pushed all the way up to his chest, like smashed in. Um, like none of this is bad for Austin. You know, he 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 can handle that sort of pressure. And now he's on a counterattack. Or not even a counterattack, just he sat on Andre down. Going for the cross eyed straight ankle here. Um, I'd like to see. Like, I don't mind the cross eyed straight ankle. It's a it's a great attack, especially with the cross side grip, where instead of the Achilles grip like you're using here, Austin, you actually send the other arm through and think about doing like a, a rear naked choke grip. Um, but keep in mind when the whole reason you're attacking that leg is that when it slips out, there he gets to turn. When it slips out, you need to immediately be attacking this leg. That's the leg you really care about. That's the one that has your, your legs around it, right? So you attack that secondary leg, you might get a tap. There's no reason to like fake an attack on it, but when he rips that leg away, immediate switch to it, you know, uh, take advantage of the heel exposure or an extended knee or, or whatever the case is. Luke just leg road across Cole's guard. What's up, Stax? Uh, Cole, up, you, you missed our round uh, where you uh, punched me in the lip. Uh, almost broke my back. Um, what else? I don't know. Tried to mess me up, but you really were ineffective 
in every possible way, even with Luke coaching you. <laughs> How you doing, Stacks? Thanks for coming back. Meanwhile, damn, Austin's really uh, giving Andre some trouble here. How am I going to take down on Andrew? Oh, uh, that was... So, yeah. Not really a cutback single, but... Chased it down. Little uh, elbow pop here. You can see... Watch. Uh, I'll do it in slow motion. Right there, a little grip. Lower the level. Still more bent over than I'd like to be. But I run out to the side, try to get my hips out. And then now pull the leg out from underneath him. Yeah. That's solid. And then use my head, shove into him, and try to land and, and maintain top position. Still looking bad with my posture, though. I think it's It'll effective. The more you do it. Yeah. You'll have to, otherwise your back will start hurting. Oh, it's already it already hurts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes, yes, thank you, Jordan. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Austin's looking for crossbody ride here. Actually, I, I he is. He would say he almost has, has it. it. Yep. The only thing, I he mean, doesn't like... doesn't have the arm control on the left side. Yeah, uh, Andre's, Andre's. Andre's got that wrist control, which is, I think, the only thing shutting it down. Um, but yeah, Andre was in a little bit of trouble there. Positionally, yeah, I mean, Austin could have grabbed the leg. Um, that that was his uh, opportunity to to switch to the leg. He actually had, um, he could have grabbed Andre's left leg here uh, with his left arm, and uh, and scooped in. I think that would have been uh, more controlling than if he were to go for the upper body at that point in time, because he was already close to it. Yeah, yeah. This is tough. Um... In order to grab that leg, Austin, I would pull your knees towards your nose. Like, you want to put, at, at that point, when you decide I want to attack the legs from crossbody ride, you want to put Andre's shoulders and the back of his head on the mat. You do that by pulling him over you, and you do that with your connection to his legs. So pull your knees up to your nose. You're not going to get him there with your heels on the ground, right? Like, you're... you're um, this is this is Andre's foot, but your heels are, you know, very close to the ground right now. You pull him up, it puts his back on the mat, and then that leg is well within your reach, and you can hit a banana split, which I would love to see you hit after me hitting a few of them on you lately, and a calf slicer I think in this uh, this round as well. Or that was yesterday, I don't know. Mitchell wanted blood since I broke his foot. <laughs> Yeah. Really nice throw by uh, for leg drag from Andre to get past the guard there. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Big, big spin. Austin do, does a good job there keeping a knee in. Yep. That was a really quick exchange. Um, Andre looks for a toe hold, which is smart because it'll get Austin to extend his leg out. See, uh, a little, well, it looked like a toe hold, a little far from an actual toe hold grip here, but an attack on the leg enough that makes Austin think. Um, Austin straightens the leg out. This is Andre's opportunity to close the space, but Austin's, you know, very, very uh, wise to this technique and spins in time to fill the space with his own guard. That was that was a really great technical exchange there that happened in less than a very second. Quickly. Uh, what's happening, Cole? What's happening, Cole? Luke was trying to talk him through uh, smothering me as well. It was uh, also a lot of misery. Ben looking for some heavy shoulder pressure on you, it looks like. He is. Um, I wind up re being able to regard from this. I, was, I had to time his uh, his hips well. was able to get my knee back in 
An unusual reaction during a sit out here. Where you at? Where you at? He's underneath um, the television. Yep. Right to a Kimura, huh? I mean, <laughs> could yeah. You just kept going in that. You kept going in the same direction and rotating through. This is great, James. Rather than rotating and then yeah. turning back. Yeah, that's all. So, so here the here's the only risk. The only risk was that if if Tommy was aware that uh, uh, of what to do here, he could have grabbed your legs and sat back into side control. Um from this from this sit out right so that's the only risk but i mean if, if i love you it. Get it, you get it yeah yeah i mean yeah this is right here you just you went full through on the sit out like yeah. it's normally like you kind of <laughs> knock them off and then you keep going the way you were initially facing you that's just right. you just went full spin cycle here um uh, how you stood up though I mean, like, it's kind of impressive. Like, basically, oh, yeah. basically, like a, well, not even really. I mean, kind of a technical lift up, ish. You're putting your weight on him. All on him, yeah. And he didn't. He didn't have any time to move. And <laughs> you just standing rear naked choke against a kneeling opponent. You don't get to see that frequently. Yeah. And then I think you end up. Oh, Andre is on the uh, on the attack now. Took him a little bit, but he finally—it looks like he finally got past Austin's guard. So here he's. Yeah, he's got the shelf of the leg there, chasing it down. And then Austin gets his his knees are staying yeah. in, but uh, Andre goes in for the uh, to threaten the guillotine, and Austin is forced to uh, relinquish guard hard fought battle to get a uh, to get that guard pass yeah neon belly what I really like about this Andre is that once you get a little bit of progress you're not taking any steps backwards and Austin yeah. is very good at getting his knees back in if you don't control his hips he's gonna find a way to get his legs in it happens to me all the time so you you know you spent most of the round working against this guard, uh, fending off an earlier leg attack, um, and then now with you know a little bit of time left, see what you can do. You got your gift wrap set up, big back take. Austin spins quickly though and disrupts your ability to get the angle you need. There you go. So take a look a few <laughs> seconds back at um, at Cole's sweep on Luke. So oh, this, this is, is good for in James. contrast, yeah, in contrast to James, and actually look at Cole's adjustment here. So he goes up, reaches, he's low on the back, but he's going to make a switch to go a little bit higher. So Luke sinks in, yeah. but then Cole goes up, and I think he still has his hands at least close together, but he makes a grip on the trap, and he pulls Luke down, and then he'll relock his hands. And now from here, he extends the body. But James, this is what I was talking about. The um, Notice that he kept Luke's head low on this instead of high. That's the reason he got off balance. I think a, a big positional yeah, marker crush here. Their neck. <laughs> yeah, yes. e exactly. Exactly. Um, your hands were below the lion emblem on the on yeah. the rash guard. Like that's That's how low they were. Cole's initially were like either below it or, or just on it. And then, yeah, uh, like Mike said, look at this, that adjustment there. This is going to be so difficult once Cole gets Luke extended. It's going to be so difficult for Luke to get his hands down or to use it as a base. This is this is a pretty uh, picture-perfect double underhook sweep. Really, really good. Um, no, I will not say it sucked. And I feel like you said that I'll say it sucked just so I would specifically say it wouldn't suck but i'm not falling for your reverse psychology uh big props to andre here um this was really good man i feel like you were aware of the time and you were treating this round like uh like a comp round i was like all right 
I got to make sure I win this one. I don't know what the points were, but you ended up getting the dub. Austin made you earn it, though. Under going oh, for that ankle pick. You're that short. He, you're yeah. short. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Andre was going for the ankle pick. Um, he, he did it twice, and I did not want to get my <laughs> ankle picked. No, sir. Foot slipped. slipped. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. Mitch with the takedown. What takedown? Osorogari. Oh, nice. Height. Height. Excellent job resting Mitch face. Yeah, I did not like these grips that Andre was trying to establish on me. <laughs> <laughs> Notice I'm just ducking out like uh, I don't feel comfortable. So I'm I'm ducking away. I'm looking for any type of angle I can get. He's not giving me much. I mean, it's, that's a good point, though. Like, uh, do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get your I hand? didn't. No. no. I, I got my, I got your my hand. Connected. Yeah, I couldn't get him connected. I roll into a, into a guard. So, uh, Andre, just for, for you here is the go-behind. Um, just something that we all can – I think we can all do better here. But you came around. You, I, I like – I don't mind what you did uh, with your left hand. But I want you to, uh, you see how my, my, my hand is posted on the mat and my, my tricep is almost flat, right? Um, I want you to take, instead of a, like an armpit push, I just want you to take your left hand here and post on the top of my elbow or right on my, on my, uh, my tricep and just put your weight on it. And from there, now you'll come around and stick either your left or right knee in that hole in between my elbow and my knee. That's all I want you to do. That will secure the go behind. Um, but if I can get my elbow tucked, that means that I'll be able to get my hand out and start to regard. Um, my arm actually didn't um, didn't come around and, and, and come around your body. I actually used my hips in order to start tracking your legs here, but just I'd like you to go a little bit slower on that go behind. Yeah. The other thing, another thing to add to that, once you get that knee in here, as you turn the corner and you insert the knee here, this hand that was pushing on the elbow can now transfer to over the waist. Yeah. That's going to prevent that roll that Mike initiates right there. You can kind of slow his roll down or give him a reason to think, I'm not going to make this roll, so I'm not even going to try to initiate it. And you could actually work to start taking the back, breaking him down from turtle instead of having to deal with the close guard now. So one thing that I did here um, is I totally ate the cross face. Um, so he, he tried to pummel both of his hands like over over my face. Uh, he got the left one or his his right one. Um, he did well there, but the I caught his left and I shoved my head in between his head and his shoulder. And I trapped the arm here. So that way his elbow had no place to go. Yeah. And so now at this point, I'm in shoulder crunch territory. And James, like what you were doing here, I have to get Andre's head lower than mine in order to start the shoulder crunch. And he was not having that. He went over my head. Um, so in order to combat the head overhead, I had to go underneath him and I chose to do that with a pendulum sweep. So shoulder crunch, he's not giving it to me. So I get a, a far lat grip. Notice that I'm like all the way up underneath him now. And I even lock up a closed guard so that he can't walk around me. Um, really tight on the far lat. Um, now what I really need to do is get further under him. So I'm looking for my left arm I'm trying to scoop his right leg. Um, and I'm doing that by literally just pulling him on top of me, trying to force his head over top of my head. 
here. Now I get my left arm underneath and I scoop his, uh, his near side leg, his right leg. And then from here, now I'm set up for the pendulum. So I've got to swing my right leg all the way out and then get my left leg over top. And I catch the pendulum sweep. That was really nice. I was really lucky on that. <laughs> I was going to be a long, long day if I was going to be under him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, Andre, for you, man, like, I want this to become automatic. You feel like you're going into someone's closed guard. Whatever uh, connection you have to their upper body, get rid of it. Just be yeah. done with it. Let it go and get your posture back. I want to see you in a closed guard with posture, not hugging up over the shoulders, nothing like that. Like this needs to become automatic. This is danger zone. This is why you end up losing this to Mike's pendulum sweep. Um, he can keep your arm isolated. You, you isolate it yourself from the beginning and Mike takes advantage. He never lets you get it back. And now on from there, you get swept. So, in contrast, even Jordan here. Jordan's working to break the, break the grips that Mitch is using on him to start getting his posture back, start working a guard escape, right? He's not, he's not putting his arms up over Mitchell's body, uh, trying to attack the neck, the head, anything like that. And when, jo when Mitch opens his guard and, and tries to go on some sort of uh, counterattack or something, he's ready to combat it and get out of the guard if he wants. What happened with James? Jordan's going to try and break Mitch's right foot again. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Cole and... What happened, uh, Cole and James, what happened here? Was this just neck stuff, maybe? Tapping from neck stuff? Oh, yeah. How's your neck feel? I forgot to ask you that day, James. Oh, okay. Ah, just in guard passing. I mean, good enough to roll. You, you train with Luke and yeah. with a few other people, so. <laughs> Didn't he say tap, tap, tap again in this in this roll of yours? I thought he, like, jokingly said it again. Did he joke it? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like something Mitch would do. Yeah, I thought I heard it. Big bridges from Andre here, and I was it took most of what I had to lay on enough pressure to keep him down. I was just trying to wear just to let him wear my weight and and wear him down. I, I didn't really have a chance at isolating arms. I mean he's a strong dude. Andre, all I'm doing is just trying to to get you to screw up. That's that's literally all I'm waiting for here. And to your credit, you didn't. You uh, you executed good escapes, good, you know, strong bridges, keeping your arms safe. Um, you did all the right things. I, I couldn't take advantage of any of your movements. Caleb and Jordan have been off on the side there. I didn't notice much of their roll yet. Oh, here was another one. So, uh, another interesting, I, I, I talk about this a lot, right? But um, attacking legs, uh, whenever you're attacking a leg, you always have a sweep. That's, uh, so I, I get overturned. I'm going super, super high up. So like I said, I'm just trying to get Andre to, to mess up here. So I'm trying to put pressure on his head. I'm trying to get his arms isolated. And in doing so, he gives me a big bridge and just sends me flying. Uh, so I immediately regard, um, but I take advantage of the regard situation, which he winds up squaring up with me here. And so I take advantage of the square stance by shooting my legs through and entering into his left leg. So I elevate with my, with my left leg, I catch his left leg, and I get a scoop grip. I'm not heel hooking, I'm not going to get a straight ankle and try and submit. But I, I can use that scoop grip and pressure with my legs 
to send his butt down to the mat, and then I'm gonna use that momentum to get myself back up. Just like that. Kicks me off, I'm on him, like, hardcore. Staying nice and low, and I'm circling around, Toriando passing. That was nice. I like I like that point, like, anytime you're going for legs, you can also go for a sweep. That's, yep. I think I definitely am guilty of forgetting that. You get in the thick of it and you go for the submission, right? But right. it's it, it depends on what you're what you're trying to do. There's nothing wrong with going for the submission by any means. Or or cranking Cole's neck repeatedly, like James apparently oh, yeah. is doing. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, nothing better than commiserating with a friend. Yeah. Over a hurt neck. The yeah, the only thing that makes a hurt neck feel better is knowing someone else's neck hurts with you. That's not real. Is it fake news, James? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. Andre's guard is very difficult for me to pass. I didn't I didn't pass his guard. He actually uh I think he sweeps me. <laughs> the last like uh, the last twenty seconds or something of this round. So this is Jordan's story. He told me about it later, but I guess Jordan had uh, had farted like a minute before this. And then Mitchell, <laughs> Mitchell taps here. He says, tap, tap, tap. He goes, George, your shorts are wet. I don't think that was just a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb is, uh, is putting on some nasty pressure on Jordan. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then flexing on him. Let him have that one. <laughs> Going down, trying to. He's sitting in the cross Ashi from Neon Belly. I mean, that's great. I kind of like that. He yeah. spins all the way all around. Way around. Yeah. Got, he has to get this leg back in. That's that's the only real problem there. Bit of a bit of a janky setup, but perfectly viable. Pulled him watch with the guy. <laughs> uh, Jordan on his own straight ankle attack here. Ah, uh, right at the bell. Um, let's get you and Andre here. This looks like he starts to get a turn. Oh yeah. Dude, you know who you know who is unstoppable when their when their hips turn, Brooke. Like, oh yeah, we had a roll yesterday, and then a roll. I think our roll last week. She would do the same kind of thing. Like, we would get turned up. I would I would feel like I could retain position, but as soon as her hips pointed to the ground, her shoulders could be 180 degrees in the other direction, and she's winning the fight every time. It pisses me off so much. Like it's so it's so yeah. hard to stop. I didn't realize it until you just paused it there, but what he did was like a Sayonagi from the bottom. Yeah. So he didn't come out the normal way. He came out like underneath my arm. Yeah. And, Every Everything and, here is yeah. in this direction. Yeah, exactly. And my arm was trapped. I yeah. couldn't do anything with my left arm or my right arm. I knew that even if I posted out with my, with my other arm and my head, like I was just going to get split. So it didn't, it didn't matter. I yeah. was just gonna let him let it go. There's no sense in resisting it anymore. Sure, he pulls guard er, pulls guard on Cole. Doesn't pull guard on me. Who's it? Oh, Andre. Andre. You must have tired him out. Yeah. Austin never lets me wrist snap him. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't sprawl, so I should just shoot. I can actually, like, pick him up or wear his weight better than I can most yep. of you fatties, so. <laughs> cool Ooh. on the back. Andre turning up on him, though. You get there. Okay. Yeah, Andre's getting his angle here. Get into close yep. guard. Yeah, 
Austin's guard is annoying. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what is... I, I really need to, like... There are a few of you that I just want to, like, take all my rounds with you and just, just, like, commit an hour or two to studying, just seeing where I'm, like, leaving things on the table. He almost sat back into a back take. Yeah, yeah. Now you've got his legs pointed in the right direction. Now you can now you've passed his guard. Yeah. That was good. Takes a lot. Takes a lot to get there with him. Yeah. I, f I figured as much, Andre. I figured that round that you had with Mike definitely seemed uh Pretty intense. Big turn from Cole. And that's it. This is another, another like fundamental thing, um, Andre. Like, like I was saying with the close guard stuff, I want you to immediately jettison all of your upper body grips and get to a, an upright posture. You, you know, when you're in, when you're in close, or I'm sorry, when you're in side control. You really need to be mindful about your weight distribution. The further your your hips are from your heels, the more prone you're going to be to uh, moves like this. And this is this is actually a really good example. Cole mentioned this, I think, in the last stream or one of the, one of the streams recently, where I was bragging that I did his move, um, and he said I just I typically set it up with a push into my opponent and then and then a quick turn in the other direction. You can watch him do this exact move right now so watch his left foot he knows you know you're loaded up your butts away from your heels he's going to plant his left foot and bridge up big bridge you go to push him back down or even if you don't he has all that potential energy now from from having brought his back off the mat he brings it back down initiates some momentum and then is able to get an easy turn out of this if he just did this with a flat back it wouldn't work or it'd be very, very difficult. You know, like it'd be, it would take a lot of energy. Now he can just push towards you, get the reaction, keep the reaction going. That was probably the cleanest example. I, I think I've seen of him doing that with that initial bridge. I'm watching Ben right now to see if he could pass Caleb's guard. Caleb's guard's get, gotten very good lately. Yeah. Andrew had a nice takedown on Jordan over here. I think a little knee pick finish. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ch chases down the knee pick, pulls the head down, yeah. turns him down. And shut. Yeah. You know, you, yes and no, Jordan. Um, you do it with a flat back, but I think you catch people at good angles. You're also strong. I mean, you've done it to me a number of times. Like, you feel unstoppable when you do it. So you definitely are strong there. Um, but if someone is perfectly perpendicular to you, I don't think you're getting it. It's when it's when they're leaned up over you or they're, like, halfway between side control and north-south. I think that's when you are best at those. Good sweep from Cole here, adjusting to Andre standing. Coming in, scoop that leg. Yep. Andre, I would posture up from here, get Cole's leg off of you. Did, did you like kick him in the balls or something? What's going on here? Did you guys stop? Okay. <laughs> it looks like maybe that is what happened. I don't know. Ben, you have uh, you have a back step here. I don't know if you know if you if you see that or not, but your mm. right leg is through the half guard. Um, and at this point, Caleb is very, very committed to his right side. So the likelihood of you getting the back step is probably, it's pretty high, I would say. Um, in this position, not so much, but the way that you were just uh, attacking the guard to try and look for an angle, um, you do have a very solid back step. And by that, I mean taking your left leg and coming behind the left leg of Caleb and, uh, and going into a cross Ashi. So... I don't know if you're still watching or um, 
or we'll watch later but you know that's a that's definitely a, a viable option if you're having trouble passing his guard uh had to had to murder austin here now that i'm getting comfortable with s guard again Yeah, is that like a <laughs> a double arm? Bar? Yeah, double arm bar. Yeah. So, where did I start this? Uh, shoot into neon belly. Start driving across. Um, I've got the arm. I got one arm isolated. Dig out the other arm when I can. Notice this, just a little, little kind of hip clearance there. He's got, he's got a hip frame in, which could be dangerous. Um, I don't have a base on this side right now, so if he gives a good bridge it, towards my right, uh, I could lose all this. So right here, watch my hips come up a little bit, right there, just to give me the underhook. I feel like he, <laughs> he kind of stopped resisting with his arms here, um, but now. Elbows are way up high, so I can crawl up the body once I get my legs free. See me using a foot wedge. Get up to S mount. And then now, uh, as I fall over, kind of lock up the trap triangle. I, see, I go to pull on his arm, and he, he said tap, and I let it go. And I go, no, you're not done. And then I grab his other arm, jokingly put in another. I've been on that double armbar joint lately. Right, Jordan? I want to see what Ben's going to do to see if he's going to hit a go behind. Not to dog on Caleb, but go behinds on him are normally a pretty sure thing. He doesn't... He doesn't time... Uh, reactions to them well. Yeah, mm -hmm. he'll, time, he'll time a sit-out... Uh, you know, he'll do a Makikomi, but normally running to the back on him when he's turtled up is a, a very good option that he, he doesn't adjust for right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with his guard retention because Ben's guard passing is very good. Very good pressure passing. Yeah, yeah, 100%. There he goes. Gets the switch. Nice. He got it. Oh, oh, oh. Great. Turtles up. Great yeah, defense. Go behind. Yep. Panda guard from uh, Panda Caleb guard. there. Oh, Ben's up on his neck. It's not looking good yet. Cap slice Austin right at the end. Uh, Austin, if you're watching, this this goes back to what we were talking about when you had that cross body control. So I've got my I've got my legs entangled with yours, but notice I'm on the attack with your legs. Look at where my knees are. They are they're up towards my head, right? My heels are not on the ground. My knees are up towards my body. So this is where I can then go on on the attack for all this stuff. Try to look for the banana split first. Um, Really wanted it, but then I was like, oh, all right, I'll settle for the calf slicer. So here I got a nice bend in the leg, a lot of pressure on the knee. Get the little foot step going on to uh, push through the knee as I pull his ankle down. And get the tap at the bell. Actually, I think it was after the bell, but I'll take the credit. Cole and Jordan. Hard to tell who's who. <laughs> you and Andre. I think I take Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Big gut wrench from uh, gut wrench. from Cole here. Let's see what Jordan does. He tries to shoot on a single. Yeah, sweep single attempt. Cole says no, sir. Double, uh, double underhook, a little gut wrench. Trying to get him turning and then gets his uh, Mitch escape style move here. It's 
think so he had yeah he had double unders the whole time and is basically in like it's not a case of position it's basically like a almost like a reverse north south or something i guess you could call it i don't know it's not it's not a real like fundamental position mm -hmm. but then rolls up gets the trap triangle around a head and arm and uh takes takes jordan over in a direction he can't base out because the arm is trapped works his way to the back got a good crank across the face here or he did Andre's not looking tired now. Yeah, what the hell, Andre? <laughs> Thought you were tired. Oh, you went in. You went in for to try and hit. You kept looking for these duck unders, and you kind of you were running through them That's... a little bit, and you would turn out of them. Yeah. And then you ducked under here, and he caught it yep. right there. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Nope. <laughs> I didn't send his arm over. He he immediately just pulled into a guillotine. And I'm like, ah, yep. shit. Yep. Go down, try to get safe. Yep. But he's past my guard at this point. Um, once we hit the mat, he was already past. So I've got a big hole to dig myself out of. Yeah, Caleb swept me with, uh, again, a leg entanglement. Um, that was... I, really good i reminded him of it when we were in the in the role i was like go for the i was like please try and like go in the pocket and try and leg lock me because then then i'll win and then we can reset <laughs> yeah. and uh <laughs> and he was like no i'm not going to do that i was like okay well then sweep me and so he's like okay and so he just picks my leg up and puts my butt down so there's always that answer also, a big sweep from Jordan here. Uh, I'll look for it in a second, Coop. Oh, yeah. Is this... You said it was under the camera. You said it a second ago. Where are you? Jordan and Coop over there. Ba -ba -ba. You guys get over here. Okay. So get my guard back, get myself safe from the onslaught from Andre. I think I was trying to pull him to a cross Ashi there, but he had a good cross mm -hmm. face and I was not going to get the inversion I needed. Again. Good close guard posture here until Cooper takes it away. Cooper. So I hit a cut back here on um, on Caleb right here. So uh, I, I can wind see up, the uh, setup. I close the distance, so I, I kind of keep running into him, mm -hmm. and then um, he would he would pop up, and then he would sit back down. And each time I did he did that, I noticed that his leg kept getting closer and closer. So I kept doing it. And then it got close, so I just went ahead and snatched that leg. And then I just drive my head into the, like, just what we were talking about. I didn't even know this was what I was doing. But I'm pulling his knee into me as I'm driving my head across the far hip. And that's uh, that's how I'm finishing these. And notice I'm using a strong right foot. Like, I'm actually posting it on the mat so that I can lift myself up to pull his leg out from underneath him. So I'll post my right foot soon there and I'm driving all the way across now you're in the 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 um, not reverse wrong way triangle here Cooper is this good got the just behind me yeah it's it's gonna be hard to see we can't see what's going on up top yeah. you got the the scoop on the leg we could see that here we start to lose lose the view i don't know i think the details mike and i went over with you were this should be helpful enough i this this is uh this looks like a good setup 
from the start. I, yeah, I can't pick anything apart right now just because we can't see anything. But keep working at it, man. And don't forget yeah. about the Kimura. Exactly. Uh, I just want to go back and point this out. Just the ankle pick variation here. This is a reverse grip or like an inverted grip uh, ankle pick. So I talk about these from time to time. Normally when you like a standard ankle pick, seated versus standing opponent, you're going to grab an ankle with the same side arm. So my, you know, in this case, if I was doing it the regular way, my left arm would be grabbing Andre's right ankle from the outside. I would take my right hand up to the hip. I would push the hip and I'd pull the ankle, right? For this one, my right hand is grabbing a cross and I'm turning my grip over and capturing it like this. Um, reason being, the, the way you typically shut down an ankle pick is you turn out. If I have my same side grip, it blocks the turnout. Like it, it, the foot turns under my foot and you can't pull away very easily. If I use my right arm, in the normal way, he could turn out and run away. But if I invert my grip and I put my forearm on the outside of his leg, that turnout is shut down in the same way that it is through a standard grip. If that didn't make any sense to you at all, I, it's okay. I can show you what I mean in person a little bit better. Um, but I don't need the hand on my hip. And I actually really like, I don't need my hand on his hip. And I really like the the pull that I get out of this grip. So I, I kind of favor this one a little bit more than the other. I think it's sneaky. Uh, I'm not giving up anything and I have a hand that I can base base out on and like stand up even though I don't do it well in this one. Just pulling myself back. But I, I beat him to the stand up and I'm able to get a sweep there. And then he says yeah. Anyway. Cool story <laughs> bro. And then what does he do? Just puts me on the ground. Oh, I pull. Yeah, I'm tired. Try to pull into the leg. Oh, I think I hit a... Oh, no, I didn't hit anything. <laughs> he had my arm. Dude, Andre gets that, like, Dagestani handcuff. Like, the, the yep. arm behind your back. It ain't coming out. It's miserable. He got it on me at one point. This is this is where he, he ends up getting the submit. Or no, I guess not. He gets a submission soon. It was just super smooth. Here, looking for the smother. So is Jordan. I think Jordan got a sweep a ways back. And it's been there since. Oh. Oh. Jordan gets the arm isolated. Gets Cole's right arm. He just had surgery on that arm, though, so. Looks like he gave him an early tap. Smothers Brothers. Nice. So I, I did a high step around Caleb's guard. Um, I, think, I think we were both pretty tired at this point, um, but I was able to, uh, just before this, I high stepped around. I stood up. Couldn't get past his guard through smashing, so I high step out, block his top side leg, and then he gives me this underhook by bridging into me. So I switch from controlling his legs to just taking the knee cut. So you notice I switch my hips from facing his hips to now facing his head, and I'm going to sit through for the uh, for the knee cut pass. Um, or it's not a knee cut pass; it's like a Kazura Kesegatame, and then. Um, I immediately go up to knee on belly and I'm starting to isolate that forearm to try and take a mount, uh, which I didn't get. He uh, elevated me really nicely. Pulls into and, a leg uh, too. He starts to. Yeah. He's keeping his, that top knee in place though. He's kind of fighting himself there for a leg entrance. Yeah. But it looks like he's trying to decide, do I want the leg entrance or do I want to keep my guard in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wound up giving his back up. Uh, so I sit in. And then now I get to take my mount because now I have, since he's turning to face me, I'm going to block his, his left arm. So he can't get his, his shoulders flat to the mat. And so I'm taking the Katagatame and I'm using the Katagatame to, if I can get the submission, of course, I'll go for the submission. But at this point I can use the Katagatame to get into a mount 
at the very least, yeah. secure points. Um, I just want to point out with Jordan and Coop, a little toehold battle here. Coop goes for the toehold, oh, yeah. uh, but Jordan adjusts his knee. Jordan, I, I'm just pointing it out because I see it. You probably have, you probably know it or have me tell it to you already. Treat these just like you treat um, Kimuras. Uh, get this elbow all the way down to the joint. Just like on a Kimura, you get you get your elbow all the way down to their elbow, and then you go for the break. Do the same thing with the foot lock, or a uh, toe hold, rather. It looks like you're kind of not really trying to crank this and finish it, though, so... Um, and then Andre here, this is where he strangles me. Um, so yeah, you kipped out. This was a nice kip. I remember watching. This. Yeah, I was really proud of it until he, uh, strangled me five seconds later. <laughs> so here I, you know, it was funny cause as I was doing this, I was thinking about what you said on the last stream about knees to the tailbone being the important part mm -hmm. of this. So I start to get it there and I'm like, I'm just flopping my legs again, like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And then I, I got a little bit of proximity to the to his tailbone with my my knees and i'm like all right one last little bit i get out he ditches one or the other and then now i i feel like i'm safe and then he makes his way around my back very nicely and then yeah, you got that hook in too yeah yeah it was um it's bullshit uh, <laughs> and then he tested later with the ref <laughs> very very quickly slides in the strangle like so well uh this really impressed me like just having the the awareness right off the bat he caught my chin oh, yeah. up and there was there was no point in fighting this um as soon as he lands it in right here you could see i immediately try to find his knuckle line he's hiding it really really well and then i was like do i try to open this hand up and it was like no this is gonna i'm gonna go out so really really excellent um Transition to the back off of my kipping escape, and then a quick strangle uh, that would certainly make uh, Luke proud. That's that's how he likes to finish strangles. No no hand fight to deal with, nothing like that. Yeah, dude. Just goes to show, black belt is meaningless. Yep. When the technique is good, that's all that matters. Nice single leg. Yeah, that was that was running them down. Closer to what I, I was like. That's when I was like, Mike, I got a cutback kind of. Yeah. Really, it's just it. It's not. I even. like it. It's not even. I just I just hit a turn, grabbed his waist, kept him going down. I wanted to. I wanted him to kind of sprawl so I could try it, but. Yeah. Oh well. Coop and Ben over there. Yeah, I think me and Cole are going to go this round. The last round is kind of light. I think there's only one, one, uh, maybe two wolves going on in the last session. And then it's me and you going over. Oh, right. Cooper. So you got a knee on belly. You're looking to isolate his uh, his right arm there. Are you trying to take the back? I was I was trying to go? briefly thinking that yeah. What with, with that double like the double underhooks on the yep, uh, yep. to send him up and and sit down into the back. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Can't remember if I get that or not. Nope. Nope, he gets a good little uh, turn on me. That was nice. Well timed. Yeah, he pulls those out like at least once every time we roll. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> and now I gotta fight from the bottom. Cole, you need to go back and listen to the commentary on my round with you. Because you almost broke my back, and I'm pretty sure you didn't hear me say that. Get 
done wonders <laughs> on me and I didn't like it. So I sat. <laughs> nah. But I found something really interesting here. Um, so I, I lock up this weird... Uh, it's not half guard. It's a butterfly half. And then I, I transition into a an X guard. And then I get him into a banana split or like an electric chair. Mm. And instead of finishing the electric chair, I instead go into the outside heel hook and get that finish. So he crunches me in. I dig for his uh, his left leg in this case, and I kind of leave my left arm behind. And this is a huge risk because he's very good at finishing that straight arm. Um, but as I'm as I'm fighting with his legs, it puts enough pressure to where he has to like think about basing out. So he takes his hand off my arm, and then once he takes his hand off my arm, I'm free to do what I need to do. And so I throw in that reaping leg. Uh, so you'll see, yep, my left leg stays, my right leg reaps over, and now I'm into uh, this backside 50-50. Which is um, pretty much the position, I think we were going over that night in, it was, in uh, exactly fundamentals that. class. That's right. I like that roll, like, the roll you get here I, I actually like that you roll over your head like you're not rolling flat with this because mm -hmm. it it slows down his roll a lot yes and you land right in the position like fully uh like his knee fully in torque yeah and then his toes his uh his foot cramped up no oh, poor baby So Jordan's got the mount now. Ben is in side control on Cooper. Me and me and Cole reset. Um, he's going in double unders. He's looking for body lock passing. You're going I'm trying over. to keep. Yeah, I'm going double over, and I'm basically just trying to keep my distance from him, which is a very tough thing to do. And I really, really want to hit a double over sweep on Cole, <laughs> just because. I, I feel like he hits it on so many people. Yeah. Like, I'm looking for your bottom leg here, but you guys are kind of slipping. Yeah. Like, you may not have been able to get a decent power leg. And I'll tell you, when I drop my leg down, he takes full advantage of it and just steps over top of that knee. Yeah. So, I take advantage of the... Um, so, I give him pause because he, he can't quite make his way around. And when he did that, he flared his, his uh, left elbow out. Hmm. And when he flared his left elbow out, I went in for the shoulder crunch. I locked up uh, my closed guard, and then I hit with a, a straight arm lock. How did I get out of this mount? So I have Jordan in three quarter mount here. Probably from a knee elbow skate. Yeah. Kind of the go to. Yeah, trying to open his leg up there, slip yep. the ankle. Putting in a hip frame here. He's making it really difficult. I think I was like narrating this to him. He's like, I can feel what you're doing. I know what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that that's kind of the great thing about the fundamental escapes that we teach, right? That, that jujitsu is kind of built on, right? They're late in the rounds when you're freaking exhausted and have nothing to throw at that you're at your partner. They work. Yeah. Get the turn. Coop on the back. Oh, okay, that was just you, I think, in the straight arm. Yeah, yeah. Because we replayed it to see where you were. Yeah. Or how you got out of the back. Or um, out of the mount. Trying to take a page out of your game there. Nice. More attack on yeah. the on the far arm. And you get the you get a sweep out of it. Kind of like a flower sweep. Yeah. 
I'm going to scoot forward a little bit because it's getting late and I'm sick of you guys. <laughs> but we'll slow down to watch me take a chair sit back take. Actually, just for, um, for Andre's sake, this is what I'm talking about. Like, my knee is on the ground in the back. My foot in the front was was on the ground the the leg in the back the knee was on the ground um i don't think i get this here i think jordan actually like oh no i get the i get a uh, mandible strangle here i think again after a few weeks of of jordan uh taunting me for being unable to strangle him it was nice to finally get one uh you got mounts yep oh no i guess i, I didn't get one here i think i strangled that must have been saturday or something all the days just flow together when you're tired from jujitsu yeah whatever jordan okay yeah you outlasted this was taunting me here he didn't think I could get the triangle <laughs> and he was right yep all right so you me and Coop doing our thing we got Cole we got Austin and, and Jordan. Jordan and Pat and somebody but it looks like they're maybe reviewing something Yeah, Coop, you can watch, watch again here, right? How I'm talking about inverting my knee and holding the head and all that stuff as I dig in on the uh, the wrong way triangle. Jordan looking for the Kimura. Trying to use it for a sweep. You got a weird sub on Ben. Is it later? Or did it already happen? Big turn from Jordan. Get back up on top from north south. Or side control, side control, kind of. I mean, this is it's more of the same. Like this is really good timing. Uh, Austin sets up something that seems reasonable. He he puts in a cross face. Jordan has this over back grip, can kind of tuck Austin's head, and with a well timed bridge, uh, gets gets Austin completely off balance. It's just it's just good awareness. Like see guys like Joe, Cole, Jordan, all hitting that that same concept over and over. Pulls on the back now. Ben's trying to turn out of uh, a back take and winds up. Oh, he he got a shoulder. Yeah, it looks shoulder stretch. Yep. And maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I was gonna say maybe a straight arm, but it does. It looks below the elbow, so I. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? It. You know what I'd be curious to hear from Ben to see if it was on his shoulder, or if it was on his, on his elbow. But. Eh, it could have <laughs> been either. It could have been either one. You know what I think? It maybe it's his neck. Uh. Oh, crunched in. Yeah. This is his head. I I thought that was Cole's knee for a second. I'm like, wait, that's yep. that's Cole's knee. So yep. Ben's just like completely crunched down. Yeah, shoulder way extended. It, it, honestly, I guess if I had to put money on it now, I'd say his shoulder, but like his his entire upper uh like frame is just completely torqued up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, his head. <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, that's going to be it for me, dog." Yeah. Nah, they still go. Couple warriors. <laughs> Look 
like El uh, Austin just about elbowed Jordan in the mouth. Yeah. Ooh, I'm throwing up an arm bar. In with a nice guard pass. Cycling around the body. Jordan with a good job posting on the uh, yeah the quad. Yeah, really good control over his legs. Very nice for that guard pass. Is that the name of your new uh, program, Cole? Crosses like they magically wrap around your neck. Yeah, that's the no kidding. truest thing you've ever said. And case in point, <laughs> almost happened yeah. there. Another good uh, body lock pass or tight waist pass from Bin. The very end. Yeah, he does a good job at at keeping his hips pointed to the ground during these sweep yeah. attempts. I have a difficult time with uh, finishing those with him. I agree. Yeah. Good awesome stuff. That was a that was a solid Monday. Yeah, it was. Uh, a lot of you guys really really showed up and showed out that day, um, which is exciting. Uh, thank you, Pat. Um, you know, we've got a, a number a number of you uh, coming up for competition, so it's good to see you guys out here training hard, uh, putting in the work, getting ready, and uh, you know. Make sure you're asking your questions, like I always say. Anything we go over on the stream here that you want to touch on further in class, please bring it up. We're always happy to go over it with you guys. Um, June 22nd, Naga, Hickory. If you haven't signed up yet and you want to you want to compete, um, probably want to do that soon. There's probably an early registration window coming up um, if it hasn't already passed. Uh, and yeah, even if you don't want to compete, um, you're always, you're always, uh, it's always encouraged for you guys to help your, your training partners get ready when, uh, when they decide they want to compete. So, uh, competition class Sunday at one, be sure to come on out for it. If you're competing, if you want to just come out to the open mat, that's cool too. Um, you don't have to skip Sundays because people are there training harder. Um, you don't have to train hard if you don't want to, if you want to help, you can, whatever you want to do, it's your call. You guys know how it goes at our school. Um, what else? You got anything, man? No, no, I don't. Good training. Thanks for all the comments, as always. My division's full of murderers, up and down. Uh, <laughs> well, you just gotta become a murderer yourself, man. Become a murderer yeah. of murderers, and and you'll be good to go. I believe in you. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for the follows, uh, Lila Vega. Uh, thank you for the follow earlier appreciate it um subscribe here if you like what you're seeing use your twitch prime or uh, any of the tiered subs from twitch and it goes a long way towards helping out the channel and we always appreciate it uh yeah go check out your guys division but don't let it get into your head um you know sign up and just do the best you can uh win or lose you know you're there to test yourselves and learn a little bit about what you need to improve and what you're good at and and all that stuff so thank you jordan appreciate you um, go subscribe over on YouTube as well. If you like what you're seeing and you want to uh, support over there, you can do that. We'll post this for you guys to review. Um, and I think that about wraps it up for announcements. So, uh, yeah, thanks again. Go trim your nails, go do your laundry, do not be stinky. And we will see you guys back on the mats. Take it easy. Later.